Hello, I want to share this idea with you that I've been thinking about. And I heard this yesterday at a workshop that I've been attending. And it's a quote from Tony Robbins, quite honestly. And it said, turn your mess into your message. And I heard that and I thought to myself, wow, that's a pretty powerful quote. And I really thought about this because I'm thinking about all of us, everybody in this world, what mess have you been in? What mess are you in right now? And what mess are you worrying about? So the first thing I want to think about is the messes from the past. And I can honestly say if I look at every mess I've been in my entire life, you know, divorce, broken relationships, um, bad bosses, jobs I didn't like, um, disagreements, broken relationships, health, you know, getting in a car accident when I was really young, all these things. And I look at all those and you know what? I can honestly say out of every single one of those instances, I either learned something about myself, I either grew or I pushed myself into a new way of being. So that can be an inspirational message to serve other people. And so I want you to think about the things you've been through. Can it be something not, maybe not just inspire other people, but can be something to inspire yourself that, hey, if I got through that, I mean, I don't know if you've ever been through something before. I know I have when I was like, oh my God, how am I going to get through this? I mean, it was a year ago that I was packing up my house in Chicago. I had just gotten divorced. I had to find a place in St. Louis to live. And I was doing all this within like a two or three week time frame. I mean, it was nuts to put it mildly. And I look back on that now and I'm like, how did I get through that? Well, I powered through it. And so think about what mess are you in right in this moment? So if there is a mess you're in the middle of right in this moment, maybe you don't see the message just yet, but I would ask yourself, what is good about this? Now, I know that might sound crazy. You might be thinking, well, there's nothing good about this. And let's just say COVID is an example, the pandemic that, you know, I can't travel the way I used to travel. I um, still, you know, have friends, family members, people that are not comfortable hanging out because of the social distancing thing. I still feel like in some ways um, I've got a, a boyfriend that lives in another country I can't see right now because of the travel restrictions and borders. But I think about all of that and maybe is the message in that for me just to slow down and to live my life one day at a time and appreciate what I have right now. I have two wonderful cats. I have a roof over my head. I have a network of friends and family that I love very much. I have opportunity. I have a beautiful sun shining outside right now. It's a beautiful weather here. Uh, I can go running at the park in the morning. There's a lot of things out that are around me right now that I now see that it's not really about the mess. It's more about what's the message in it. And for me, I think the message is to keep it simple, slow down, appreciate what I have. Now, the last area is a future mess. This is when we are sitting here and we're worried about something that's going to happen. So maybe maybe you're worried about, I'm going to get COVID. Maybe you're worried about this person's going to leave me. Maybe you're worried I'm going to lose that job. And I remember, I reflect on this many years ago um, when I had just ended a relationship and I was living by myself in my house for the first time in my life. I mean, I was on my own in the in my mid thirties. You see, I had like gone to college, lived with my dad, and then I got married, moved out, bang, right after that. So I'd never really been by myself in a living situation and been a hundred percent financially responsible just for me, no one taking care of me. And I remember in that situation, I was thinking, Oh my God, can I really do this? I mean, what's going to happen if the roof caves in? And I remember this voice of reason said to me, you know what? If you if the roof caves in, if you get hit by a car tomorrow, you'll deal with it. You're, you're going to power through it and you're going to deal with it. And there's no sense right now in worrying about it, about worrying and wasting my energy and thing that's going to happen, not going to happen. And I don't know if it's going to happen. I feel the same way about COVID. Now, this is just my personal opinion. I'm not making a statement. I know this is a controversial topic, but I do feel like, God forbid, God forbid, if I got COVID, if I got sick, I will deal with that when it happens, but I'm not gonna sit and worry and I'm not gonna lose sleep over it and get anxiety. So I invite you to do the same thing, whether it's a relationship, COVID, your finances, your job, but just know that you will deal with it when it happens, but don't waste your time in the moment worrying about it. Always here to serve you and inspire you. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Drop me a line if I can support you in turning your mess into your message. Namaste.